Chinese police have a new plan to crack down on illegal activity, rip people off their scooters, and confiscate their vehicles. What's really behind it? Welcome to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. This episode has been sponsored by Surfshark, because you should be protecting your identity whenever you go online by using a VPN like Surfshark. The Chinese Communist Party seeks to create a uh, harmonious society. And for them, harmonious means highly regulated, tightly controlled, and most importantly, looking perfect on the surface. Which is why when party officials see this, it's just not okay. Chaotic intersections? We can't have that. So, should we install functioning traffic lights? Assign police to direct traffic? No. The problem is all those poor people riding scooters and motorbikes. We can't have this. Or this. Arrest them! No, seriously, arrest them. Recently, officials in Dongguang City, which is here in Guangdong Province, have tried to harmonize the city streets with a large-scale seizure of scooters and motorcycles. Yes, the Public Security Bureau ordered its police to break into people's homes and snag their vehicles. Many motorcycles driving on the streets or parked in front of residents' homes were seized by the police. Delivery men came out of the door to find out their vehicles have been towed away by the police. In the past couple of weeks, a surge of videos showing Chinese police taking parked motorcycles off the street began circulating on the internet. They would even take the motorcycles right off people's property without giving any notice. What if you're already on your motorcycle? Don't worry, police can solve that problem for you. I wonder why this guy is speeding away from the police. He should really just pull over and let the police take his bike away. And what if you refuse to get off your scooter? Police can solve that problem too. There's lots of policemen and only one of you. And frankly, most people whose motorcycles are being taken aren't so lucky. Yeah, how dare he fight back? What? Does he think he owns his own property? This is communist China, comrade. Your motorcycle belongs to the people. And by the people, we mean us, the police. Truly, this is for your own protection. And it's important your children understand this too. Maybe you can just push your kids in a wheelbarrow instead. Unsurprisingly, this mass and arbitrary seizure of motorcycles left some people feeling hopeless. And it left others furious. For a lot of people in China, their motorcycle or scooter is their livelihood. Like, if you're a delivery worker, and police decide they want to take your scooter and also your cargo. This delivery boy is threatening to commit suicide because police are taking his scooter. And without it, he loses his way to make a living. So what's really driving Chinese authorities' push to seize people's scooters and motorcycles? I'll get to that after the break. Welcome back. At the end of March, the city of Dongguang organized a police gathering, instructing them to confiscate illegal scooters and motorcycles from civilians. Now, it's true that some of these vehicles are unregistered or aren't compliant. But if that were the real problem, there'd be a much easier and less brutal way to solve it. Officially, this new policy, or you might call it a political campaign, was triggered after two traffic accidents involving motorcycles in Dongguang killed three people. Plus, as of mid-March, there have been 15 motorcycle accidents and 17 deaths in the city this year. From 2018 to 2020, 814 people were killed 
in traffic accidents involving motorcycles and electric bicycles in Dongguang, accounting for up to 48% of the total number of traffic accidents. And in several other big cities in China, motorcycles and or scooters are also banned or regulated for reasons I mentioned earlier. Officials claim it's in the interest of public safety, because Chinese officials truly care about the safety of the people, whether it's pedestrians, street vendors, and especially children. They always think of the children. But surprisingly, not everyone believes these latest motorcycle seizures are really about safety. Some citizens suspect the policy is used to clean up the streets by getting poor people out of the public view. When police confiscate the scooters and motorcycles, they often say they don't meet regulations or they're unlicensed. In Dongguang, more than 90% of the local motorcycles and electric vehicles have no license plates. But when a reporter called the Dongguang city government hotline to find documents with rules for confiscating vehicles, the operator said, it is not clear whether this operation has any relevant documents to reveal. And the local police said, once the latest legal regulations are confirmed, they will be announced through official channels as soon as possible. So take people's stuff first, and then make the rules that give you permission to have taken it. Perfect. So what happens to all the confiscated scooters and motorcycles? Some videos show motorcycles getting crushed and recycled in junkyards. But it seems there's more to it. This photo shows a ticket for 1,200 RMB, about $180. It was given to a citizen who requested their motorcycle be returned. So some people believe this whole confiscation policy is just a way for local authorities to make money. They take your bike, and you have to pay them to get it back. It's like the Mafia, only it's the police. There's rows and rows of confiscated vehicles. Looks like a cash cow to me. And a sign of a truly harmonious society. And this episode is sponsored by Surfshark. Whenever you go online, you should be using a VPN like Surfshark to protect your identity. Everything you do online is being tracked and logged by the websites you visit and your internet service provider, and in many cases, by the government. And if you're in an authoritarian country like China, this kind of tracking can put you at risk of surveillance and even arrest. So I recommend you use Surfshark to protect yourself online. When you use Surfshark's clean web mode, you'll be protected from trackers, plus a lot of ads and malware. With one account, you can connect as many devices as you want. Try it out with a 30-day money-back guarantee. And Surfshark has a special discount for China Uncensored fans. Go to surfshark.com uncensored and use the code uncensored to get our special deal that includes three extra months for free. Click the link below. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.